again, stop me if you've heard this before, uh, Turkey being the big problem, uh, and Germany's economic minister on the wires saying that these trade disputes aren't really helping matters any. Uh, to economist Brian Westbury, we've also got market watcher Gary Kalpom. Um, you know, Gary, you can look at this and say, it, it, you know, if history doesn't repeat itself, it certainly does have a habit of rhyming. And this sounds a lot to me like Thailand with the currency and the bot free fall and the Russian ruble uh, fiasco a couple of years after that. But I always wonder whether it's it's justified. I mean, in the scheme of things, isn't this exposure fairly limited or am I missing something? Well, all we know in the past, usually it comes and it goes. Uh, but you never know how hard it's going to come and how far it's going to go. Uh, and this is something we got to watch closely. Neil, uh, Google the words proposed tariffs. Uh, the amount of tariffs in number as well as d dollars is pretty darn huge, and that's just the proposed. We do not know what the outcome's going to be. And just remember, all this talk, oh, it's no big deal, the market's doing fine right now. It, tariffs put in place usually take a while before, uh, you know, there's a good reaction to it. And I saw Germany's numbers the other day on manufacturing, and uh, they were pretty darn low based on the fact of uh, the tariffs that are going on right now. So it's something that has to be watched closely, and just because markets are Aren't reacting doesn't mean they won't react in the future. You know, Brian, I guess the fear is the contagion. I understand that Goldman Sachs, among those warning that a number of U.S. companies have exposure, I think their thrust yep. was to those who have exposure to this. So they included right. the likes of Wind Resorts and Morgan Stanley, Micron, NVIDIA, Citigroup, uh, largely because those companies have exposure to Brazil and Russia and India and China, the so-called BRIC countries. But isn't that a bit of a leap? Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, there's there's no doubt that these tariffs hit specific companies, specific industries, and the consumers in those industries as well. But when I when I look at this, I back off and look at the macro economy. And if you look at the the tariffs, they pale in the size uh, when you compare them to the size of the corporate tax cut. <clears throat> and one of the things that's I think hurting the rest of the world is that the United States has now reduced its corporate tax rates to levels that are competitive. Um, the, we, we allowed other countries for years to, to grow uh, at our expense. And now by cutting regulation, by cutting taxes, by putting pressure with tariffs on them, uh, we're hurting them more than, they're, than we're being hurt. And I think in the end, uh, what will happen is they'll cave. I, I think tariffs around the world will come down, and I, and I look at the end result of all of this, even though people are fearful today, as being a real positive, not just for the U.S., but for the global economy. What if we overstate the importance of all of this? I'm not, I guess I'm asking a weird question, Gary, in that trade, I'm not minimizing its importance, but in the scheme of what it will mean to our GDP, uh, sometimes it can be a rounding error. And I'm wondering if the, 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 what the mm -hmm. Chinese are saying now by not doing anything in response or blinking, as the term goes, and, and some of these other countries, they just think, you know, we can wait this out too. Well, look, I agree on one thing. We have a $20 trillion economy here. Uh, China is pretty darn big. And we're talking Turkey. I think they're only about $1 trillion. So, yeah, I, I think you have a darn good point there. But it's also about what is the possibility of next? And what I mean by that is we've had easy money for a long time. We've had strong stock markets for a long time, which helped the wealth effect for a long time, which has helped the economy. If that unravels because of something, you never know what the catalyst can be, the you-know-what can start rolling downhill. That's what I'm always worried about and the fact that it's been 10 years of easy money, really no big bear markets out there, and I just do not know if this will be uh, the trigger for something that's going to be, uh, you know, hurtful, harmful to the economy. And I keep my fingers crossed that Brian is 100% uh, correct and this is going to be a fly on a elephant's you-know-what. Well, Brian is always 100% correct, by the way. Just <laughs> A footnote there. But Brian, I, I am curious about one thing, and help me out with this, this notion that, um, you know, cooler heads prevail. We apply that to trade. We apply that to frictions with currencies and, and responding in nasty uh, sort of tones. Um, but it, it could take a while for those cooler heads to come, right? So, so does that worry yeah, you, that even if it goes the way you say, 
Um, in the interim, there's quite a beating to take. Well, a absolutely, especially for, I mean, there, there's no doubt when you, when you put a tariff on a specific industry, a specific product, there are consequences for some of those companies. My belief, though, is that the consequences are more damaging for other countries, for China, uh, for example, for Germany. I mean, if you think about it, we've had lower tariffs and higher corporate tax rates for a long time. And that lets other countries get away with bad economic policies. I mean, China is a communist, uh, direct control kind of economy. And, and it's gotten away with this because we've allowed it to grow. We're now backing off. We're cutting our corporate tax rates. We're raising tariffs. We're putting pressure on them. And they're going to get hurt worse. And, and that, that's what leads me to believe that they won't take this uh, to the zenith, that, that it won't uh, uh, end up being uh, this crazy uh, ping pong ball of economic reaction and action that leads to some kind of major crisis. Uh, at the same time, if you really look at the U.S. economy, we're growing like we're, we're over 3% growth. Manufacturing is booming. Employment is continuing to grow. Unemployment is coming down. Wages are going up. Earnings are going up. And that tells me that the U.S. economy is weathering this storm, if that's what we want to call it, very well. All right. Guys, thank you both very, very much.